Hello dear ones, it's Alice. This is uh, about the Associated Press Mental Filter. The Associated Press, that's a lot of people that are reporting um, news headlines that, are, that have a particular bias. And, it, and it's also, the readership is important because there are a lot of people reading the news of the Associated Press that is particularly slanted towards the negativity of the lower chakras and is in fact creating and um, magnifying the soul wounding the, of, the, of the first three chakras, the negativity, uh, the negatively, the negative spin on, on the, the basal chakra, our relationship with earth uh, and with safety. The second chakra, our creative urge, and also negativity regarding the, t the topic of sexuality. And the third chakra, whether we will express ourselves with control of our, our own energy field, mastery of mind, and a mastery of the, of the heart energy and promotion of, of unconditional love, or whether we will express ourselves in a limited kind of way by assuming that we have power over other people or are powerless to prevent that. Okay, so, so I just like to say that there are a lot of people in the world today who believe that what they read is, is true and, and use what they read to define their reality. So, and I know in particular, I have friends who read the morning newspaper or listen or see the, the morning news every morning as a kind of a spiritual practice to, to delimit their understanding of reality. Now, if I ask, what I hear is that they need to read the news in order to know how to like react uh, to for the to the to the bad news for the safety of their own family and for their own safety, and so what they have in in their minds about this is that there is something there is some delimiting factor of power over expressed through the news like a sacrament that they take in every day and that they will react to that in a causal way cause and effect so as to feel safe okay now this is not true this is not true it is their reading that creates that reality in them so, bottom line, this is my own personal opinion. If we are reading that which makes us feel unsafe, that to which we object with anger, if we feel fear or, or any negative emotion when we read the news, why read that news? because it is our emotions which create on the astral realm what becomes our physical reality. Why read that news? Why not read what we really want to see? What reinforces our, our positive understanding about reality? It is more true than the Associated Press Mental Filter. I know this for a truth. True reality is, is true unconditional love. It's not fear. It's not hatred. It's not jealousy. It's not greed. It's not thinking that the world lacks anything. It's quite the opposite of that. That is true reality. So, if you sit down with the morning paper or listen to the morning news on the on the on the television and find ourselves in a brown funk for the rest of the day what has that availed us how has that served our soul mission and our own soul how has it healed us huh why believe 
that we are caught in a web of circumstance. Why not stand forth now and decide what we will see, what we will read, what we will experience in our lives, what we will co-create in the world through our own positive emotions. I think that's where it's at. In the same way, if you're reading my blog or, or viewing my blog, and you don't agree with what I have to say, if you don't feel there's anything to the story of ascension and like that, or the age of regeneration, or new creation on new earth, or the new human, any of that stuff, co-creating reality, if it just doesn't, it doesn't sync with your own notions of how things ought to be, why, why read that? Why view that? Why, why per put yourself through that aggravation, I say. So, so I encourage you to, to just, to just carefully pick the input that goes into you, into your brain, you know, and, and, and with regard to my blog as well, if you don't like what I have to say, I encourage you to, to find the kind of reading that you really love, that you really uh, resonate with, and to continue with that kind of reading instead. Because there's, no, there's nothing to say that what I have, what I believe and what I say is true, but you, you're the only one that can determine that. What is true for you and how you want to create your reality I validate that. I believe in that. I believe you should have the free will to do and create whatever you want for yourself. And I stick to that for every human being on earth.